We did a partnership with JP Morgan and ourselves to look at how we can bring about entrepreneurship in communities of color. It was from there that we thought about, well, what are the barriers that are blocking communities of color for being entrepreneurs? What we realized was access to capital was key, but the other thing was also training as well as being able to think about how do you run a business and how do you also draft plans as well as think about the aspects of the necessary uh, movements of a business. And so from there, by our partnership with J.P. Morgan and others, we were able to look at entrepreneurs and bring them, those who traditionally would have been outside of that fold, into the fold. And not only do we have incredible people who do incredible work, but we've also been able to show how we may have make profit off of that investment in the fund that they're in, as well as we've been able to establish a number of businesses to be anchors now in the Detroit community. And that has resulted in multiples in terms of hiring, as well as also being able to contribute to the ever-growing uh, economic and tax base in Detroit. So we feel very, very proud about it, very strong about it. And we also know that this is the way in which you engage change for the long run. For all intents and purposes, we can always have small programs or individual programs that may go for one year or two years or three years or five years, but how do you actually create longevity of change over an arc of time? And we believe by investing in these entrepreneurs, we've been able to do that and set course, if you will, for a better and brighter future in Detroit. That's fantastic. And yes. now you're also getting into the media business. Yes, we are. <laughs> Very excited about that. And we're doing that in three different ways. Uh, the first is we've done a number of partnerships around looking at how do people consume media and how should we think about moving social justice along those consumption channels. And so one of the things we talked about was, can we think about a documentary series that is both entertaining and also informative, as well as can be used as an evangelizing tool for those who are connecting in the issue around social justice. It was from there we partnered with a guy by the name of Norman Lear, the famed producer, if you will, from everything from the Jeffersons to the Good Times to what have you. And he gave us some of the most incredible pearls of wisdom. First of all, he talked about the fact that if we look at the model of consumption, which is more serialized, those who look at things like Game of Thrones or House of Cards or whatnot, they're always tuning in and they're dumping in and they're jumping into that world. And they're dumping, if you will, all the other attributes around them and really focusing in. If we can think about creating content around that type of experience, that it will have a much deeper impact. Second, we realize is that instead of doing it in your traditional documentary kind of structure, if we work with celebrities to be the actual correspondents and actually be the ones who are involved in the actual activity that we're looking at, that that would actually bring both a heightened awareness, but also a natural connection and cadence to the way in which the issue could be understood and be addressed. Third is no social movement is without, is, is without its own theme music. And so we recognize we need to partner with the media industry, particularly with the music industry, about how can we create theme music that even if people don't connect with the content initially, that they will get the content through the music and then thus want to then use the music as a way of connecting better with the content. And so it's from there we partner with a group called Divided Films, uh, which the executive producer is Sully Grunstein. And he was able to work with us in reference to thinking about content as well as a, an engagement uh, process and strategy so that once the content was created, we thought about the engagement models. And those engagement models were we used the grantees that we have partnered with, over 2,000 or so grantees, and used them as platforms to actually move the content out. So very different from this passive kind of consumption of content. And then we work with Jay Period, the famed producer from everybody from Mary J. Blige to Tribe Called Quest and The Roots, and we work with him to think about how do we look at moving theme music as a way of, so that people would hear music and say, well, what is that connected to? And then come across America Divided, which was our first uh, launch into this effort.